Ravi and from this video we will deep dive into our competitive programming with code wars. So let us first see what is code wars. So just type code wars on Google and you will see the basic definition of code wars. Like code wars is an educational community for computer programming on the platform software developer train on programming challenges known as kata. So this kata are nothing but the problems and once you have developed a basic firm understanding of any language that any programming language like python c c++ java so with that with that basic knowledge you can get into competitive programming with code wars so just go to the codewars.com so to create an account code wars uh, in code wars there are multiple levels of questions so we can start with the lowest level questions which just uses small competitive programming knowledge and a vast programming knowledge a programming language knowledge so if you have just completed basic or have completed some courses on programming languages this is the best place for you to train on that language so let's first join the code was that is let's first, first create our account so for creating our uh, it is asking for the language we will use uh, we can read here to join you must first provide your skills choose your language to begin so whatever programming language you have learned you can select from here so i am going with python you can follow me or you can go with some another language also and <laughs> some website provide captcha in the form of google captcha code word provides captcha in the form of programming languages like programming question so here it is written this code does not execute properly try to figure out why so this is a function in python and function should return some value and here the return statement is this it so i am just going to type return and after space a into b so i am going to submit it uh, it will check some test cases on the background and if i have passed all the test cases it will provide me to the registration so i am typing my gmail id username password and create on a list so here they are given us some programming tracks which we can use like backend web when i click on backend web uh, on the below we can see some languages get selected which uses backend so this is not compulsory like we can skip this or you can click anything for now i am clicking backend data science and gme etc so here what is what best describe your current programming skill set so as i said i am going to use this for basic like for very very beginners which have just completed some languages like basic language programming language so i am going to click learning to program we will slowly build up and we will go up to advanced beginner competent proficient master and here it is you can are you interested in joining a boot camp to assist your learning i don't think i am interested right now and if you want to receive bi weekly newsletter so i am going to create yes and save my training preference and it is saved and now we are on to our dashboard you can see here some read more or we will get some tips in the middle of in the middle so on the home page on the top there is a survey and below the survey we can see something as your next challenge so this part here here on the right side here it is a question we have to solve this is just a problem and here we can read the problem definition and we can try to solve it using the train button and after reading the problem so after reading the problem question if we think it is too difficult for us then we can use the skip button when i click to the skip button the new question will load and we can read this question and try to answer it so this is the home page layout and there are some career opportunities also also we can see on our profile that they are given us some rank default author and we can change it in the settings so let us first see what is to the left of the left of the dashboard here it is a home page here it is a practice where we will spend most of our time practice basically means practicing the questions uh, for the question they use kata kata what complete challenging kata to earn honor and ranks and freestyle scoring is basically we have to refactor 
refactor other course like we have to check for basic mistakes or best practices among the code etc etc and there are some career opportunities also so uh, firstly you have to verify your email which we have provided i will verify it later and i am going into the practice mode we will just see the description of how the practice page looks like and we will start the question from the next video so here on the practice question first we will see what is the difficulties so 8q 7q 6q 5q so basically the higher the number the easier the questions so in this place we will use the 8q questions and when you open the my languages sorry when you open the practice page you will see multiple questions with different queues you are 8q 8q 6q 6q 7q so instead of going randomly i am going to use 8q first and by some chance if you get some different question on the first on the first of the title if you get any different question you can search the question from here like the question i am doing if you want to search it you can search it from here you can also sort it you can use the language like some questions have only specified languages available and most of the question have python so i just i am going to use python for now c sharp i don't think there is a java for this for this question yeah some questions have different types of programming language available so you can use that languages questions for now uh, status approved the approved questions are going to see progress which is important like if you have open any question uh, you will get into kata i have not complete completed if you open any question if you have haven't open any question that will be into the section kata i have not trained on basically trained on means opening a question and if you have opened it and have and haven't completed it you will be into kata i have not completed and if you have completed a question you will be onto kata i have completed so i'm giving a progress all for now so i'm going to click 8q and we will see 8q questions best sorted by nearest question first so this is the holiday four holiday six shark pontoon question uh, below the question you will see different tags for the question like fundamental number string mathematics algorithm so these are the different things that are going to be used in this in this question solution so if you don't know anything about this uh, it is not mandatory like we can try to solve it from our view and you can try first uh, by yourself and you can check my, my solution afterwards and when we complete our solution on code wars they will show us the best practices to be used which have been used by other other peoples so we will also go through that like what we are lacking we can find out through there so this was the overview uh, let us see the home page first uh, sorry let us see the navigation bar so here it is a sun icon i guess so this what what is do it will make our website darker it will change it to a moon and it makes our website darker web page darker i'm clicking i like light mode so i'm going to use light mode so this is for saving any questions saving any kata this is for notification and it is this is for our profile page account settings training setup upgrade to rate there are some upgrade for uh, basically subscription for the upgrade to rate one system so this is all for starting with the code wars hope you will you will be into our second video like we will start our question from the second video if you like the video uh, please subscribe it share it and press on the bell icon to get newest question faster okay thank you